Hello and welcome to bestappsite.com, your source for iPhone app news and reviews. Well, today we're also going to talk about tips. And my tip that I'm going to do today is one that I get, it's a question I get on a regular basis, and that is, how do I create my own custom ringtone uh, for my iPhone? And of course, you can buy ringtones, and you can even somewhat customize them, but as we know, the iTunes Store doesn't sell a ringtone for every single song. And what if you already own the song on CD? So my favorite way to create a custom ringtone is actually using uh, GarageBand, which I get more control when I do it that way. However, I'm going to show you a way to do it for free, built right into iTunes. And the reason I'm going to do it this way is because iTunes is already something you're using, and it's cross-platform. So let's take a look. First and foremost, um, there's one restriction to this method, and that is the song cannot be a protected AAC file. In other words, it can't be a song that you bought on the iTunes store a while back when they were all uh, uh, protected with DRM, Digital Rights Management. However, if it's a recent song, then chances are it's an iTunes Plus song and it'll say purchased AAC. If it's one you ripped from your own CD, it'll either be an MP3 or it'll be an AAC file, and those are all fair candidates. So the only one you can't do this with is if it says protected. And I'm viewing this in kind. You can, you can show this in your view options. So this way you can see what kinds of songs you have in your library. All right, so now let's get to the tip. So uh, I, I've identified a song that I want to use. It's called Above Your Pay Grade. And here we'll just double click on it and start playing it. And of course, this song is 1 minute and 25 seconds roughly. And I only need 30 seconds of it. So that's the first thing you need to do is identify the start time of your ringtone over here. And the, of course, the end time is going to be, you know, usually 15, 30 seconds after that start time. Now I've identified the start time as nine seconds into the song is where I want my ringtone to start. So now that I know that, the first thing I want to do is uh, get, get info or command I on the Mac, control I on Windows to get the information for the song. And normally that will bring up summary about the song, but I want to go to the options. And in the options you have this great feature called start and stop time. So I'm going to start the, uh, I'm going to set my start time to nine seconds, and I'm just going to set my stop time to zero thirty nine seconds. In other words, thirty seconds after it starts, it's it will the in, the ringtone will end. Now, of course, you don't get any fading controls or anything like that, or editing bits and pieces of the song that you would have to do in other apps. But this is what you can do built in for free. So now that I've set my start and stop time for that song, it tells iTunes that I only want to play 30 seconds of that particular song. Now, of course, we're going to go back and turn that off when we're all done so I get the full song again. The next thing you need to do is you need to set a preference. And I'm going to go up to my uh, iTunes preferences. And the preference you need to set is your import settings. You need to make sure your import settings are set to the AAC encoder. I'm using the iTunes Plus setting. It doesn't really matter which one, but it has to be on AAC. It won't work otherwise. Now that I've done that, I can cancel out or click OK if I needed to change it. The next thing I need to do is go up to my advanced menu, and we're going to say create an AAC version of that song. You're probably saying, well, Terry, it's already an AAC. Why am I creating another one? You're creating the 30-second version of it now. So I'm going to say Create AAC, and that will create the 30-second version that we just told it to make. So there it is, 30 seconds. Now that I've got my 30-second one, it's called the same thing, and I, just for the sake of confusion, I'm going to rename it Ringtone, just so I can keep track of which one's which. Now... Also, I don't need the rest of the songs in the list, so I'm just going to type in the search to search for this particular song, and of course now they both come up. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to find that particular song in the operating system. So to do that, I'm going to 
right click on the song and of course on the Mac if you only have a single button mouse that's control click and on the Mac that would be show in finder and windows it probably says show in explorer or show in windows explorer or something to that effect so that will take me out to the finder or take me out to the operating system to where I can actually see that particular uh, 30 second version it made and it will be a .m4a file what you need to do here is change the extension and this is what makes it a ringtone m4r for ring so once I make it an m4r I'll get a warning they'll say hey are you sure you want to change the file extension yes I do now that you've done that all you need to do is simply drag that m4r back into your iTunes library and that will add it to your ringtones so if I go look at ringtones now I get nothing you know why because there's one more thing I forgot to do it says wait you can't add that it's already here so we have to get rid of it first so I need to oops I need to get rid of the ringtone version and I'm just gonna say uh, yeah keep the file but get rid of it out of the library now when we go back to the finder and we drag over that ringtone we should have some ringtone happiness and there it is so there it is my 30 second ringtone that I've created from scratch now the next time I plug in my iPhone I'll be able to sync that ringtone as a legitimate ringtone and use it wherever I want use it for my contacts right in iTunes didn't need to buy anything else and you can do it with songs you either bought from iTunes songs you bought from the I or songs you bought on CD and you ripped yourself things you spoken to the mic your kids whatever you want to be a ringtone all you have to do is get it into iTunes and do these steps and you're all set for more tips like this I invite you to check out bestappsite.com which will have tips app news app reviews a link to my book a link to everything I do you got it right there thanks for watching